Hey there, YouTube. Boomerang507 here. Um, not really doing too well keeping up with a streak of doing videos, but I am going to do at least two today. Um, I'm going to do one right now showing you what I've acquired this week, kind of my haul video. And then I'm going to do another one later on um, for sure about some educational resources for you pickers out there. And then I also have a mystery item, and I'm not sure if I'll get to this video today, because um, I have like a ridiculous, this whole, this is like my to-do list today. It's kind of crazy. Um, so if I get to it, I will do a video about the mystery item that I'm going to show you, um, but I'm not sure. It's kind of, kind of depend on my mood and how far I get and how productive I am. Um, I went through my inventory and kind of went through my notebooks. Um, I've done videos on my notebooks, how I keep my inventory and kind of went through them and matched them up to my active listings this week and noticed I had a f quite a few things. I usually put a check mark by the item when I list it and I have quite a few things that I actually never bothered to list. <laughs> so geez, why haven't they sold? Cause I haven't listed them. So I'm going to try to go through, that's what my list of items is. Um, and then I also was in my inventory room the other day and noticed a few things that I don't think they've ever been listed. I just kind of put them through my process and they ended up in my inventory room. Um, so I've got some holes in there that I'm going to kind of need to plug up. But I kind of want to get all caught up on that thing, cause, that stuff, because I think that will get me to the 500. I'm at about 455 items right now. I want to try to get hit that 500 number today if I can. Um, but I do want to get the stuff that I found this week up for sure. And then I'll kind of go back and go through the, the stuff that, you know, I have a lot of things that I need new pictures. Uh, I maybe need some new descriptions or a new title. Um, and I will go back and, and kind of do that stuff as I can. But, um, anyway, so let's re get right into what I picked up this week. Yesterday, um, friend and I, she wanted to go to a, a, an estate sale because she had some Madame Alexander dolls when she was young and her stepmother decided that she was too old for dolls and gave them all away and she was kind of upset about that and wants to re wanted to replace them and this estate sale listed Madame Alexander dolls so she wanted to go and check that out and plus I helped her stepson find a deal on a mobile home um, on Craigslist because I'm always trolling Craigslist looking for deals never know what you're gonna find um, so he ended up buying a buying himself a mobile home he's 21 so we were kind of wanting to look for things that to kind of get him set up in his first you know, first time moving out so uh, we went to after the the estate sale she ended up <laughs> it's kind of funny um, the, go the dolls were gone. There was one doll though, um, but they wanted a ridiculous price for it. I mean, it was it was it was outrageous. Uh, we thought about going to half off today, but I I don't think either one of us feel like it's really worth the drive back there. Um, so we did find a few things, but after the estate sale, we ended up seeing what was out there for garage sales and hit a few. We really hit the jackpot at some. Um, I had my CRV completely empty. The back seats folded down, so I had lots of cargo room. By the time we were done, I couldn't see my through my rearview mirror. It was floor to ceiling full. There was no more room for anything else. So we're kind of hardcore when we go. Um, but I did, she found a lot more. It was almost all her stuff. She found a lot more than I did, but I did find a few things. Um, so let's get right into it, I guess. One of the things I found... Paid a dollar for it. it. was a Sony Sports Walkman with the headphones. I need to test it and clean it up, but I um, usually do pretty well with these. Um, and I also found a new in package needlework set. I paid two bucks for it, which is actually kind of high for a garage sale, but it's new in package and it's wintry themed, so I know I'll make a minimum of 15 easy just because it's a 10 by 14 finish size so uh, I probably could get 25 I don't know I'll have to have to do a little research 
Um, oh, let's see what else I found. Let's put the receipt over there. This was a find at Goodwill. Mighty Ducks starter jacket. Very 80s. This was $15. Um, again, kind of high. This thing is in mint condition, though. Um, and I haven't really paid much attention to, there are certain variations. This, a Mighty Duck starter jacket goes from anywhere from 80 bucks to about 250 or I think there were even some $400. It kind of depends on the, there were a few variations of the colors. Um, and I haven't looked to see which one exactly this one is, but I knew I was going to make a minimum of, sell it for a minimum of 80 bucks. So I've got a minimum of 65 bucks, you know, less eBay and PayPal fees profit on that. So that was a good pickup. Uh, now let's see, where did I get this? This was from Salvation Army, looks like. What did I find there? Uh, I don't even remember, it's been a couple of days. I think it was Friday night, and it's Sunday now, right? Yeah. Um, got a Nike Golf Polo. I don't like to do black. <laughs> I have a really hard time photographing black clothing, but it's Nike Golf and it's it looks unworn. I mean, there's a little bit of fading at the collar. You probably can't even really see that. In person, it, it's you can tell looking at the collar that it's definitely been worn, but everything else looks like it's never even been worn. So for only three bucks, can't really lose there. Uh, what's this one? This is a sportif, I guess. Uh, looks like I paid four bucks for it, but it's one of those vented fishing shirts. So I have good luck with these. It doesn't even seem to matter if it's a brand that no one has ever heard of. They go. And this is a, I think this is a nice, nice orange with a black kind of a window pane type plaid. I think it's a nice looking shirt. Uh, let's see. Well, then I picked these up. L.L. Bean. I know we've had some discussion on the, I think it's been on the Thrifting Lounge Facebook page. It might have been eBay Thrifters. Um, some people can't sell L.L. Bean to save their lives. Um, but I generally have pretty good luck with it. I actually picked up two of these. They're four bucks each, but they're an extra large tall. Uh, so I've got a green one, and it's kind of that faded kind of a canvas looking material. I think it's a cool looking shirt. There's a green one and then I got a khaki one. I'm sure they probably came from the same person. Get my receipts in my pile to file. But yeah, it's basically that same kind of a canvas material. Again, extra large, tall, paid four bucks. Is this no oh, this is more goodwill I ended up what did I see oh, I think somebody's at the door for my son and I think it's somebody he doesn't even really want to talk to so we're probably going to ignore it so if the dog starts barking that would be why uh, so goodwill paid five bucks for this browning shirt um, let's see looks like it's a snap front there's a little browning logo. Um, nice looking shirt. I don't know. There's nothing really terribly special about it, but it's a nice shirt. Uh, I found a youth Chicago Blackhawks jersey for five bucks. Can't beat that. I'm going to be able to get at least 15 to 20 bucks for that. Picked up a new with tags. I probably would have passed on this if it wasn't new with tags. Um, came from a Ross store, um, but it's just a long sleeve Adidas t-shirt, but new with tags always sells. Uh, this is a cool shirt. I like this one a lot. It's a Bugatti Omo. Omo, Omo. Five bucks. Very cool. Just button front, but I think it's a cool looking plaid shirt. Uh, Timberland. This one was also five bucks. Just button down, button down, long sleeve, button front. 
And then I hate taking pictures of bottoms, but these were only four bucks and they're Nike. Um, some nice Nike running shorts. Um, I just hate, 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 hate taking pictures of shorts because my mannequin has a small and these shorts are a large and, and you got to pin them up and I just don't like it. I just like to stick to the top half. Uh, let's see, more Goodwill fun. I've got some more stitching kits. This is a Jiffy Stitchery. I paid two bucks for this one. Sunset Birches. How very 70s. Uh, this one looks even maybe a little older. This one I paid a dollar for. It's a stamped, stamped cross stitch. But it's kind of baby themed. Looks like it would go in a baby room. Oops. See, it's a stamped stamped one. And then this one was also a dollar. 12 by 6 inch finish size. Teddy bear welcome. Another counted cross stitch. Um, like I said, I like to pick these up because they're super easy to store and they're easy to ship in a bubble mailer. Now for the mystery item. This was also a Goodwill. When I saw it on the shelf, it looked like this. I thought, well, it's some sort of inflatable, but I wasn't really sure exactly what. So I flipped it over, saw that it was five bucks, and saw that it says a, that it's a craft inflatable Kool-Aid display. So I think what I have here is an inflatable Kool-Aid man, and it's pretty big. Um, but I'm not sure, because it's all sealed and has never been opened. Um, so I'll probably do a video once I get it all blown up. I'll have to I have to dig out my pump because um, I'm not blowing this sucker up by hand. I don't have that much hot air. Um, so if I do, I will uh, make another video. Maybe get a little crazy with the Kool-Aid Man. So that's what I have found for this week. Actually, I found a whole bunch more stuff. But I spent this morning packing up my Amazon shipments and got those ready to go on Monday. And yeah, now I just need to get to work. It's already quarter to two here and I'm kind of losing my, losing my day by the time I get supper going later and get all this laundry done and clean up this messy house. I hope I have time to get through all of this eBay stuff. Um, but such is the life. We just keep plugging on and got to keep going. Um, should never give up on a dream because of the time it will take because the time is going to pass anyway so you might as well just keep going and keep working towards it um, so thanks for watching be sure to look out for my next video about some education options and be sure to like and subscribe and share the video thanks for watching